Shalom and blessings. It's a wonderful day and we thank you that you have tuned in to the devotionals this morning to a fresh week. We continue our series that we started last week on the topic of faith. We have been looking at the faith journeys of men and women of the Bible, which are listed in the Hall of Faith in Hebrews 11. Today, our focus will be on Joseph, who declared in faith. Now, Joseph is an example who persevered in faith, not only in his lifetime, but also during his death. We read of his account, his account of faith in Hebrews 11.21. By faith, Joseph, when he was dying, made mention of the departure of the children of Israel and gave instructions concerning his bones. So we see in Genesis that Joseph declares in faith that God would visit the children of Israel and he would fulfill his promise by moving them away from Egypt into the promised land. Joseph declares of the Exodus and shows his faith that God would come and God would, uh, would fulfill the promises that he had made to, the, uh, to his ancestors. Now, Joseph was a very prominent leader in Egypt at that time. And it would have been easy for him to just tell his brothers to stay permanently in a place as Egypt, because there, there was uh, all the possessions they needed. There was position. Joseph had power. He had everything that he required. But Joseph knew the promise and he knew that what God had, uh, had wanted and to encourage his brothers and the generations to stay in Egypt would be a sign of disbelief. So Joseph persevered in faith, knowing that every blessing that came from Egypt was nothing compared to the blessings that was there in the promised land. So to believe God had something far better for him is, uh, uh, and for his sons required that faith. And he declared this faith while he, was, um, while he was at his end talking to his brethren. Now, nothing that Joseph enjoyed, whether it was his wealth or his honor, made him forget that promise. He knew what God had promised and he knew in all certainty that God would fulfill everything that he had promised to, to his uh, children and to the people of Israel. So when we look at Joseph's life of faith, what lesson do we learn from this? Do we declare our faith like Joseph did? Maybe we are in a place where there is a lot of comfort or we are in a place um, absolutely comfortable in the position and the place that we are in. Or maybe it is the other way around, that we are not in a place where, which, is, which is good or which is comfortable. Whatever the case may be, God promises a better future for each one of us. So no matter how things are today, you and I can declare um, in faith for a future and for an outcome in our circumstances because we believe in the promises of God. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for what we heard today. We thank you for every one of our circumstances and the promises that we can hold on to in your word. We pray that you would give us the courage to declare in faith according to your promises into our circumstances in, and into our situations because we know your promises will always be fulfilled in our lives. We thank you. We praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.